Good morning, family. Welcome back to Lightworks, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to Lightworks. This is going to be a general energy reading. We are going to tap in and see what messages the Most High God or your spirit team has for you today. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you were drawn in by the title, there is definitely going to be something here in this message or any of my other videos for you. If you are returning, hey, soul family, what's going on? I hope that you guys are blessed and well and that the messages on the channel are really helping you to heal on your spiritual journey. I appreciate each and every one of you co-creating and allowing me to connect with your energy to relay these messages to you. So as always, let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths. Inhale through your nose, positive energy. Exhale through your mouth, any stress, anxiety, or anything that is weighing you down at this time. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Divine Ancestors of the Highest White Light, Divine Beings of the Highest White Light, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know at this time. Let there be none of me and all of you. Please encamp the angels of protection around us and close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Please and thank you. Archangel Raphael, please be here. Help us to heal. Ashe. Okay. Okay, we have regret is a wasted emotion. Regret won't right any wrongdoing as best you can let go choose forgiveness and forge ahead onward and upward okay okay so this is all about regret there could be a situation that you endured um, that is making you feel regret someone else in your energy could be in deep regret okay i split the deck on healing okay and this is like an emergency vehicle so your guides are wanting you to stop sitting in this energy or this could be the person in your energy again they're wanting you to start working on the healing process and realize that this is yeah clarity and organization okay um understanding why this happened okay understanding that it's time to move on from it to just get the clarity on the situation organize what you can fix what you can and start the healing process okay i'm gonna get into it and see what's going on here the fates okay so something was faded some type of situation it was meant to go the way that it did and although you may feel I'm getting the energy of, yeah, worthiness, okay? You could have been dealing with someone that did not recognize your value or you're mad at yourself for not recognizing your own value. Okay, with those, yeah, confirmation with the disowned self, the root girl, okay? But I'm not getting this in the sense of... The card's actual meaning okay this is the energy of someone that has had an ego death okay I'm getting this disowned self came out in the sense that you did not see your worth and therefore someone else treated you in a way that you shouldn't have been allowed yourself to be treated or them you okay this could be that person 
let's get into this and see the disowned self root girl root chakra someone needs to do some chakra work on the root yeah celestial alignment with all the colors here this is definitely uh, chakra alignment is necessary I can't make this up power lines okay so someone is definitely out of balance in your energy okay you're also picking up the energy they're showing me these connecting power lines okay this is the energy of you picking up on other people's energy so definitely you need to cleanse one second okay I'm back so what I'm saying here is this is all about your energy, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have divine guidance, okay? And there with the 33, this is a master number. The ascended masters are trying to connect with you to get you out of this energy of regret, okay? The book said regret is a wasted emotion, okay? They don't want you to waste time sitting in what you shoulda, coulda, woulda, okay? That energy, they're wanting you to get grounded with this root uh, girl coming out as the first card cleanse and align your chakras okay and get your energy back on point okay you also again uh, getting energy or energy is being projected from other people and you're picking up on that so they want you to plug in I'm hearing okay to the source Okay, you're going to have to actively work against these emotions. That will be with positive affirmations, meditation, and prayer, okay? We have rising above the fray, eyes of the eagle. Yes, they're wanting you to see this situation from a different perspective. Look closer, okay? There's a reason why this happened. We saw the fates card come out. The Most High God wanted this to happen in the way that it did. I feel as though that happened because you needed to wake up. Okay. We have two nines out here. Nine, nine could be significant. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. So, as I was saying, they're wanting you to look at the situation from a different perspective. Okay, to see the bigger picture. Bottom of the deck, alchemy, okay? This is about you using this situation to create something for yourself. To, hmm. Okay, this is falling directly under root girl, okay? And they're saying you're about to transform into this beautiful goddess, queen, okay? King or God if you are a male, okay? This situation is about to help you to transform, but you're not seeing that at this time, okay? This also is a card number 38, which breaks down to an 11. That's all about alignment, okay? Again, alignment here as well. There's one more card here. Okay. Closing the door. <laughs> Completion. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. They want you to... Oh, okay. This is the bottom of the deck. This is the overall energy they're saying. In the hand. Okay. The universe is your partner. Okay. That's card number 31. Now, that's a four. That's about protection. The universe is protecting you. We saw divine guidance. The universe is guiding you, okay? So they want you to close the door on this energy of regret, despair, okay? Reflecting back on the past, okay? They want you to allow this ego energy to die 
this old part of you to die. Those regrets allow that to die, okay? Let's see what else we have. We have Divine Feminine here with the Cosmic Womb as well as that healing card that I split the deck on. So this is also significant. Again, bottom of the deck, we have faith, okay? This was meant to happen, okay? They're guiding you to take a walk. I feel as though you're going to get some downloads while you're outside. They have yellow with the sun here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, yeah, definitely get outside. It's going to help you to get grounded. Okay, you could have been dealing with a scam artist, a thief, a fraud, a Decepticon. Okay, this is all orchestrated. There's something that God wanted you to get from this situation. They want you to know you're safe. That you're going to alchemize. This, is, this situation is going to turn you into a queen. An empress. Give us the messages. What is the collective this divine feminine energy need to know at this time? Okay, you were dealing with a false person. Okay. Or you could be the false person. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm hearing I should have known better. Okay. And right now we have see the good in all things in reverse. That's because you're not seeing the situation the way that God wants you to. Okay, again, rising above the fray. Eyes of the eagle, okay, that is seeing this situation from a different perspective. So God is wanting you to look at this differently. And step into the energy of healing, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? You will get through this. Have faith, okay? You definitely have to clean your energy, clear your energy. Your angels are giving you hugs, they're embracing you, they're all around you supporting you at this time wanting you to call on them okay they're wanting you to go in a different direction with the road less traveled okay right now you're, you're here in the flow of everyone else what everyone else is doing and they want you up here going in a different direction what else holy spirit Okay, we have they will always talk let them as you walk okay so there could be people in your energy that are gossiping about your situation and that could be causing you to be in this energy of regret and sadness okay but the most high god and your angels are saying do not worry about these people people that talk about people all day are not doing anything beneficial to themselves to you or to humanity okay so we never worry about people that talk about people okay they're not going anywhere in their lives if they have a lot of time to talk about what somebody else is doing okay always remember that what else holy spirit <clears throat> Okay, we have my heart is yearning for your love. I honestly feel like this is your energy as well as the person that you were connected to. I feel as though you 
were the catalyst for each other's growth. I feel like this person is not there, not, not even close. I feel like you are not quite there either. However, you are, you're going to be, okay? This is faded. This is going to, you're going to move past this situation and understand that this person came into your life. This situation happened in order for you to wake up to your true worth. We saw worthiness come up, okay? I feel as though you did love this person. I feel as though this person loved you as well, but this person was, uh, in an environment confirmation and around people that were not were not the way that you are did not have the heart that you have did not give genuine love this person has been surrounded by a lot of false people and that is the reason why they are a false person okay we have going to jail, hell, or both, okay? This person was around a lot of people that were, that operate out of a low vibration, okay? And before that happened to you, God allowed this situation to fall apart because you could have been one of these people that was on your way to jail, hell, or both if your connection did not end, okay? Worth waiting for in the reverse, okay? This person was not worthy of you, Okay, uh, what's going to happen is this person is going to most likely be in this mental imprisonment or imprisonment or physical imprisonment, and this person is going to start reflecting, and this person is going to ascend eventually, hopefully. Okay, we have karma. Okay, that has to happen. We have losses. Okay, and we have downhill. And this is going to hit all parties involved, okay? I feel like you are dealing with yours right now in some form with the pain you're going through. And that is fated to happen, okay? I feel like this is going to really change your, you and this person. And eventually, this person is going to affect change in those around them as well. God orchestrates these things for every party involved to be connected to or to interact with another person that is ascending. And so it creates a snowball effect. Downhill, I feel as although you're in this place of karma and you feel like you're rolling downhill, as you roll downhill, God is allowing you to bump into a lot of people, okay? To touch them so that they can get a glimpse of your ascension, okay? And then they will in turn roll down and it will be like a snowball effect, okay? Let's get some tarot. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell us about this situation? What does our Divine Feminine energy need to know? Now, keep in mind, this could be a masculine operating out of feminine energy or a feminine operating out of feminine energy, okay? I feel like you're really in this energy of this Three of Swords, okay? And you may have been here for a long time with this Knight of Pentacles energy. Or I also feel like you worked hard on that connection. And this is the reason why it's very hard to heal from it. What is the message, Holy Spirit? Two of Pentacles. This is the energy of indifference in this particular spread. I feel like you're trying to weigh this situation to the yeah, confirmation with the two of swords to make a be the best decision. I feel like you may even be contemplating reconnecting with this person. Okay, there's our deep regret that we read about in the book, okay? The Most High God is wanting you to know that this, again, happened the way that it was supposed to. 
I feel as though the Most High really left this situation in a place where it's too far gone for you to decide to try to go back. God does not want you to go back. I feel like in your mind, you're like two of pentacles, two of swords, weighing your options. Should I go back? What should I do? Okay, feeling regret in the sense of you're yearning for this person. You love this person. You're missing this person. You potentially want to go back. And that's because you don't see your worth, okay? And beneath your worth, again, is this alchemist card. As soon as I pull this up, this is who I see, okay? This is what you don't see, okay? So this is the overall energy as well, this Five of Cups energy. What else should we be aware of, Holy Spirit? Seven of Cups, confusion. This is this is you need definitely needing to cleanse and clear your energy. Okay, you, there's a lot of emotions here, a lot. Okay, you are not able to use your intuition right now because your energy is not clear and you have so many different emotions. Okay, part of this is this person's energy. This could be people that were connected to this person and mixed in with your energy, okay? Five of Pentacles, this is how you're feeling right now. Just very lost, alone, left out in the cold. There's also a lot that you don't know about this person with the moon here that your guys did not want you to deal with, okay? Something that this person did in your home, okay? will break your heart even further with the three of swords okay high priestess is showing up here okay they're telling me that you are a high priestess this you don't know this because you are deep in this energy of regret and that is what is going to be coming out you see how this person has these lights above their crown all of those streams of light coming down, okay? They want to pour into you to give you insight on this situation and insight on who you truly are. Queen Nefertiti energy, okay? Alchemy. But you got to clear your energy and yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of King of Cups. This is who you truly are. When you die to the ego with the root girl, this own self card coming out first, you're going to find this newfound overflow of love for yourself, okay? What's the final message, Holy Spirit? Eight of Pentacles. Judgment. Most High God is telling you to get to work on the healing, okay? Start Seven of Pentacles investing in yourself and holding yourself back from this energy of regret, okay? Final card, Holy Spirit, yeah. You are the Emperor. You are the Empress, okay? They're with you and they want to work with you. Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups, this situation, meaning walk away from these energies of lack, this energy of stress and anxiety, and yeah, that's the truth, okay? Let's get you another card. Love. The heart of love is the heart of creation. All is possible through love. All is worthwhile for love. May all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth, okay? Self-love self-love vision a positive outcome requires a positive vision visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light light and love make sure to include yourself also your love has the power to influence and transform current events you are the alchemist okay so that was your read okay it's going to be okay you just have to go through this process of 
seeing yourself. In order to do that, you need to get into prayer and meditation. Allow the angels and the Most High God to work with you, Eight of Pentacles energy, okay? To bring you back to who you truly are or to bring you to who you truly are. I really don't feel like you realize and recognize your power, okay? I love you very much. I really hope that this message helped you to realize your value and true worth. Allow the angels and the Most High God to come in and to pour love into you and to restore your faith and your value in yourself, okay? Take a few deep breaths. It's going to be okay. One day at a time, one thought at a time, one prayer at a time, and one meditation at a time. Okay? Peace and blessings, family. Ashay.